Hey guys, welcome back. This is Trevor Mock with Investor Carrot with video number two of this, this training series we've got put together. And this one's about creating and launching effective lead pages, uh, squeeze pages, whatever you want to call them, okay? Whether you're a techie or not. And I've actually got a really, really cool uh, download for you on this page. Don't download it yet because I'm actually going to walk you through, show you how to use it effectively. Uh, if, if you don't listen to what I'm going to say, it's going to waste your time. But there is a lead page download on this page that is one a page that we've tested. It works insanely well for a few different purposes. We're going to give you that download so you can put it on your server, use it in your business. Okay. First of all, so we had some questions because I mentioned this in one of my training videos recently. Uh, people were asking what what marketing videos I really highly suggest, or not marketing videos, marketing books I highly suggest that people read because, like I said before, if you're not a student of marketing. Um, you're probably going to have a really tough time in real estate. You're probably going to re have a really tough time being an entrepreneur in anything. So be a student in marketing. Read a book a month. Uh, read a book every other month if, if you're not reading any right now. Honestly, I, I went like a seven-year time period after college where I didn't read a damn book. And then once I started reading books, I started to learn a lot more and became a lot better marketer and, and my company really grew. But this book right here, it's called Predictably Irrational by an author named Dan Airely, A I. A-R-I-E-L-Y. Go to Amazon, get that book. It's going to talk about some of the things I'm going to talk about today about lead pages and about squeeze pages because there's a lot of things that are irrational in the way that people work. And some squeeze pages that we put up that we think are going to work do not work as I'm going to show you here in a second for some markets and vice versa. Some things that we think, man, there's no way that's going to work. Uh, it ends up working and beating out the one we think is going to work. And I'm going to show you an example, a live example that we're testing this week actually of that happening. So once again, I'm here in my entrepreneur co-workspace in a small town of Roseburg. Uh, it's a space that started a couple of years ago. We've got 11 other companies working out of here now. Um, entrepreneurs all doing cool stuff. Thought I'd give you a quick, quick little tour of my of my office in here. It's 8,000 square feet. The other people on our team uh, are either working out of here or, <laughs> or are virtual. But uh, I shut myself away here in the office today so I can film this video. So let's go ahead and dive in now. So if you missed video training, uh, video number one, that one is our search engine optimization keyword Bible. So we give you the specific keywords that we've already done the research for. And then next we walk you through what to do with those keywords on your website. We also show you a quicker, quicker and easier way to do that with the investor care system. But you don't need our system to do this stuff. Okay, we just help make it easier. If you haven't done that yet, check out video one and uh, after you watch this one. So just this week I started a test with two squeeze pages like I kind of alluded to a second ago. I like to call them lead pages. I'm, I'm not too fond of the word squeeze page. But anyway, so here's a screenshot of the results so far from the test this week. And you're gonna see I took this literally today and, and, and I actually checked it just before I filmed this video and the, the results are even a little bit higher now. But with this campaign, we've got a little over 106 opt-ins, and that's once we started tracking. We're at 180 opt-ins total with this campaign since uh, Tuesday. And you can see one of the, the versions, we're testing two different versions. One version is converting right at 60%. The other version is uh, right at 67.5%. Now, in the past, I used to never test pages and really didn't test and really didn't put much thought into growing my email list at all. I'm not sure if you're in that same camp at all, but I thought it was enough to just get any leads that came through my way and, and whatever I got was awesome, right? Until I chatted with a friend and realized just how much money and freedom yeah, I was I was leaving on the table and when I when him and I were, were chatting we talked about what it would take to double my business online any business I was running what, what would it take to really double the business using the internet and there were several ways to do that whether you're a real estate investor or if you own a plumbing company or if you're still working a job and you're, and you're helping your company there's several ways to double a business online and I could get more traffic, and that's one way. So you get more traffic, which we talked about in video number one in this series, how to get more traffic using SEO. Um, or I could double the profit on each sale or each deal that you're doing, uh, and, and that's a possibility too. Um, you, know, you could increase the conversion on my pages and grow my email list. So that's a third way. Just with the same traffic I'm already getting, just increase the conversion and get more people to convert on those pages. And it's really hard in most businesses to double the profit per sale. If you can imagine in real estate, how easy it is to, to double, how easy is it to double your profit on a real estate deal? Uh, if your average real estate deal is five thousand bucks or ten or twenty thousand dollars in profit, 
Can you tomorrow come up with some whiz bang strategy to double your profit? Uh, maybe, maybe not. If you can, let me know what it is. Um, and getting double the traffic really, you know, could make you go broke if your website isn't already converting well in the first place. So I found out that the easiest way to double my business was to really double the amount of leads that I took in in, in each month. And a great way to do that is by, of course, making your website convert better, which I'm going to talk about in video three. But we use lead pages, so specific little pages that help you convert into leads. So ever since then, one of the main focuses in every business that I own, uh, my real estate business, I've got websites for my properties uh, that we're, we always work to get converting higher so we have more tenants. Uh, my software business, Investor Care, consulting I do, heck, even a t-shirt business we launched a few weeks ago that's doing well. Uh, is building our email list and using the heck out of lead little pages that most people call squeeze pages, okay? Because we know how to how to create pages that convert and grow an email list, we now have the freedom to earn a higher income while working, you know, a fraction as hard as, as everyone else out there not focusing on generating leads. And an awesome side benefit that a lot of you have probably been able to experience, hopefully, as a real estate investor, being able to effectively generate leads and build an email list is adding extra income streams with things like affiliate marketing or wholesaling other people's deals. If you can build a great cash buyer list, you can wholesale other people's deals. You don't have to find your own deals. And that, that comes with being able to really build a great list and, and use lead pages. And the bigger your list, the more you can, of course, earn. At any given time, me and my, my company are always testing between two and 10 pages across our various sites to see what converts better in, in different markets too. Uh, real estate is, of course, one of them, the insurance industry. I have a client that we're running a bunch of tests for, wood flooring, and even the entrepreneur world, which I'm highly, highly passionate about with my entrepreneur co-workspace and entrepreneur group here locally. Um, and the test we're running this week is with two different lead pages. Both are totally, totally insanely different looking. And we decided to test them both. And one, th one of the pages is long with lots of words and pictures, even has the dreaded links at the top of the page that, that you know, the page that most gurus say kills conversions. Uh, by the way, I would stop listening to gurus and start taking things that, that have worked for one person and then test it yourself to see what works. But the other page is probably 20 words on it total, uh, very clean, quick, clear call to action, no links on the page, but the call to action. And the results are the exact opposite of what I thought that they would be. Okay, so the funny thing is that, th is that that's how it usually is too when I'm testing things. Generating leads is part science and part kind of an educated guess. Uh, here's the test results from this week's split test again. And once again, 67.5% versus 60%. Um, and, and the one that the one, you know, can, can you guess which page is the winning one so far? The long one with a ton of words and ton of pictures. And, and, and links at the top of it or the very short, concise page that had a really clear call to action and, and a clean page. I myself thought it was going to be the short one. Uh, so do you think it's going to be the short one or the long one? Most people are taught that shorter is better <laughs> with sales copy anyway, right? But because, because people have, have a short attention span is why most people think that shorter is better. And I usually think shorter is better as well with my sales copy. Uh, heck, I almost didn't do this test that I'm talking about because I thought for sure the shorter one would crush the longer squeeze page. But in this case, the longer one with tons of options, links, pictures, tons of words uh, is winning by a, a pretty darn good margin as you saw. Um, so why is that? Why, why does this one page work way better than this other one in this certain circumstance? Honestly, I, I have no clue. I, I, I wish I could tell you why that is in this cir certain circumstance. I just know now after testing it that it works. But that's why we're constantly testing our pages to see what works better. Because what looks good, what you think will work, or what you copy from yours may not actually work very well for you at all for whatever purpose you're using it for. A squeeze page might work great for this purpose, but it might do terrible for this other purpose. Um, and having the ability to create squeeze pages fast on the fly without having to touch code that you, that, that you can go out there and test is a huge advantage to have because like I said, if you're copying this squeeze page from one person and you're thinking, uh, thinking it's going to work for you because it works there, it might not work for you. So being able to really quite create pages quickly on the fly to test without having to touch code because I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer guys, um, is a really huge advantage. When we find a page design that works well for us in my business, let's say for a motivated seller site, for cash buyers, for our investor care customers, 
we put it into our lead pages engine for our members to, to use and access. And you're obviously here because you want the template of one of our high performing squeeze pages. So you can put that to play in your own business to get more leads. Um, so here it is. So the, the template is below. So you can download that template below. I, I would suggest downloading it after this training video because I'm going to walk through what makes it work and what makes squeeze pages work well. But the download is below. It's the HTML files. So if you're, if you're a coder, if you're a techie, take those files get them online, get them on your server, put in your opt-in form code in there. Um, and of course you can swap out the picture if you want to, but this format has worked really, really well for building a cash buyer list for us. This lead page went through the same darn testing process um, earlier this year in the real estate market that I was explaining to you that we're going through the testing right now. And it works great for one specific type of lead, like I said, a cash buyers list, or you can even use it really, really well for things like free reports, um, private lenders. It's not working too great for motivated sellers, but we have other pages that I'll show you that are. Um, I'll show you why it works, and then you can download it and put, put it to play in your own business here in a sec. So quickly, in the next 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna dive into, uh, number one, the four elements you need to have on your squeeze pages uh, to make them actually work. A lot of people miss one really important one of these. Uh, number two, the diagram of, of an effective squeeze page and why it works. And number three, how to quickly get your lead pages up and online without having to be a techie. That's a biggie that really holds a lot of people back, I think. And I know it did for me at, at, at the start. I just wasn't getting pages up there and wasn't getting leads because, honestly, I didn't know how to do it. Um, so we're going to show you how to do that. So what is a lead page first? If you hop in this page and you weren't really sure what a lead page is, here's quickly what it is. It's simply a page that's built for one goal and one goal only to give someone something of value in exchange for their information. So it could be an email, name, phone, etc. Here's an example of a, a, a good looking lead page. You know, there's a, a headline there and I'm going to show you some different things. But the only goal here is to get a motivated seller's information or to have them call so you can then talk to them. So how do, how do you make an effective lead page? Uh, there's certain elements on a lead page that, that have to be there to make it work. There's Then there's some that are kind of optional that make it work better if you put them in your pages, okay? So first of all, number one, you've got to have a, a short grabby headline. You've got to have a headline that really grabs someone's attention. It, it, it hits them you know, right between the forehead, right between the eyes with what they're thinking about at that second, how you can help them. Okay, with this one, this specific one, high profit Portland real estate, 15 to 20% annual returns. If you're in Portland and you're looking to buy real estate with a good return, that's probably gonna stop you in your tracks you're gonna, and you're gonna read the rest of this. The next, you really need to have some sort of benefits of what they're gonna get. And there's multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna show you some different squeeze pages. Uh, one way that we use quite a bit is we use uh, additional sales copy below the headline that says, hey, you know, here's what you're looking for, here's how we're gonna help you, here's some bullet points, okay? Number three is you gotta have an opt-in box, of course. And, and the shorter the opt-in box, the better. Uh, the shorter the box, the higher the conversion is gonna be. But also, of course, the shorter the box, the lower quality the lead is gonna be. So this is something I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about in the next video, is one element that we put into play in our websites. We call it the two-step opt-in process that really helps increase the amount of leads in the front end, increase the, the quality of leads in the back end. If you're not doing this, you need to put this in your website. I'm gonna talk about that in the next video, so keep an eye out. But you should have a short opt-in box. Then some op optional things that you should test to see if it helps you give you a boost. Social proof. So you can see I have a, a picture there pointing toward a testimonial. It's a, testi a sample testimonial for this page. You know, ABC Properties was a breeze to work with. I was looking for properties in Portland on, on my own through agents uh, for over a year with no luck. Once I connected with ABC Properties with three months, I bought a property that now cash flows 800 bucks a month. I'll definitely be buying more properties from them again. His name, location, and picture. If you can put testimonials on your lead pages, guys, your conversions are going to go way up because your believability goes up. But as I'm going to show you, you don't have to have testimonials on your pages to make them convert. And then fifth, if you can make the design simple, clean, uh, people are going to like it. So here's another page, and this one's outside of the real estate market. And I wanted to show it to you because this is a really good illustration that once you know this, once you learn this skill, and once you get the tools or to, to, you get the tools to build lead pages fast and easy, so you don't have to uh, hack away at code, or once you learn how to do it yourself and learn HTML, 
you can create lead pages for any kind of market, for any business that you own, or go out there and do consulting. Here's one that we're we're doing right now for a, a large insurance company here in Oregon, and we're driving leads directly from Facebook to this page. And this one, you can see the social proof, you can see the attention grabbing headline, the short opt-in box, and then a preview of what they're going to get. Same things, guys. We just organize them in different ways. This page from Facebook traffic right now is converting at about 26 to 27 percent. That's pretty solid for that type of traffic for cold traffic. So not too bad. Here's another one. This is actually one um, of, of an investor up in the, up in the Northeast. They actually uh, brought it to us at Investor Care and said, "Hey, can you create this uh, for my website?" We put it up into their website. But same thing, attention grabbing headline. They've got a preview of what of how the person is going to benefit. So this is a motivated seller type lead page. So the preview is in the video, and you can test video. You don't have to have video. Honestly, uh, I usually don't put video on most of my pages just because it takes a little bit more time to get, to get a video up. But whenever I do a video that's a good video, it does help increase conversions. Short opt-in box, and then, of course, benefits down below. So same elements, guys, uh, as before. If they were to add a testimonial or two in the sidebar, I can guarantee you that the conversions of this page would go up. And this is the one that you're going to be able to download today. So this is a high converting page uh, that we're using for cash buyers and tenant buyers that, that members are using. And honestly, I'm not going to say that I invented this page. Um, I'm a really good person at, at borrowing what works in other industries. And I saw similar pages to this working in industries. Um, I myself had opted into several of them that look similar to this. I'm like, man, that works. And so we thought, what if we test it, tweak it a little bit and put it in the real estate market or let's put it in the wood flooring market. And it seemed to work pretty well in all markets as far as this format. But this has been working really well for cash buyers um, and for tenant leads. It's not working great, great, great for motivated sellers because motivated sellers tend to need a little bit more warm and fuzzies to, to be able to put in their information. But same thing, guys. Preview of what they're going to get with a big, really nice looking picture. So that's kind of previewing what they're going to get, the fix, you know, local fixer upper properties, attention grabbing headline. See our local fixer upper properties, non MLS investment properties. Many are under 100,000. You want to make sure that you, you say something like that. Many are under 100,000. So they know that, heck, even if they're looking at a $20,000 property, that they might be able to look in here. And then same thing, guys. Short, clean opt-in box with a very, very clear call to action. You can see the, the, the button does not say submit. It does not say uh, next page. It says, it says show me the deals. So on your calls to action, on your lead pages, make sure that your calls to action are very specific. If it's a free report, it shouldn't say submit. It should say, it should say download report. They click it. They know exactly what's going to happen when they click that button. They're downloading your report. They're, sh they're getting the deals. Okay. And this is something, once again, I'm going to be showing a little bit in, next, in the next video is the psychology of conversion. What small tweaks can you make on your own websites to make your conversions go way up? So let's go ahead and if, 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 if you know HTML, if, if you're a techie or you just want to, you could probably go to Google or YouTube and type how to um, install HTML on my server. If you have a server with a hosting account, take that HTML file below. Put that up there. You're going to need to swap out the opt-in box with your own from AWeber or whatever email service you're using. And then you can keep that picture or swap out the picture with one that, that looks more like one that's, uh, that's from your market. If you're an Investor Carrot member, I'm going to show you how to actually do this with Investor Carrot uh, really easily. So here's the page live and online. Uh, that uh, that we're working on right here. It's the same page you can see, and I'm already logged into my Investor Carrot account here. So, da, da, da. actually, I'm not logged into it yet. So let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to log into this Investor Carrot account for this demo website, and I'm going to show you where and how this happens. So, if you're an Investor Carrot member, let's go ahead and go to Lead Pages. Once you're inside a lead page, you're going to see the list of the done for you lead pages already in there. And then, of course, as a member, you can create any lead pages from scratch that you want. But uh, this one right here is the Handyman Properties page. There's also other ones. You know, here's one right here, just fixer up for properties. Here's one that's great for Facebook. Here's one that's for a private lender report, passive investing report, uh, investment properties list, a Warren Buffett advice. This is just on our cash buyer site. We have other ones on the motivated seller site as well. But I'm just going to breeze through these really quickly. There's one. You know, you can see here's uh, an investment properties one with a, a video. That's a, a sample one. Sample one. Here's a Warren Buffett. One that you can put that really helps. It's a video with Warren Buffett telling people why they should be buying houses. Uh, here's one right now that we're actually just now putting up that we have been testing. 
It's uh, one that we're going to be putting up for this same style that we're going to be putting up for our members. All kinds of fancy stuff. Okay. So once you're inside of here, all you got to do is just open up the, the lead page that you're wanting to edit. Uh, so here's the, inv uh, the investor one. Once again, let's go find that page we were wanting to edit, Handyman Properties. You're logged in. All you got to click is Edit Page. It's going to take you into the page editor. And of course, you can edit content. You can change content. But from day one, as an Investor Care member, you're going to have this lead page. All you got to do is come in here, grab the URL, and you're ready to use that lead page for marketing. So now you can drive people from, from Craigslist, put it on your business cards. You can even make your home page on these websites a lead page. So people have to actually opt in to see the rest of your website if you want. But let's go ahead and go down and change some stuff because one thing that we have tested is a big, big impact in this type of page. So if you are using the HTML version of this page, the template that we have below this video, one thing you'll want to test is the picture that's on there. Okay, So find a picture um, that's a property in your area, I ideally and even better. Find a picture of you or one of your buyers standing in front of a property and like pointing to the left, you know, pointing to their left, which will point at the opt-in box. I'm going to show you something like that here in a second. Okay, so I got rid of the picture. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and attach a new picture to it just to show you how quickly and easily that is. But I'm going to show you an example of one kind of like one that you should really test in your own market. Like I said, the more personal and honestly, the, the more less professional, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but the less professional your images are, the higher your conversions are going to be. Do not go and buy stock photos, guys. Stock photos decrease your conversions. Uh, people feel that a photo that looks real is something that's going to be, you know, it's going to convert higher for you. And that's one thing, too, I'm going to be talking about in next week. It's one small tweak. If you're using professional photos of yourself on your pages, stop doing that. I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to click select. I'm just going to go ahead and I just attach this new photo. And we're just going to go ahead and open up this lead page. The internet's acting a little slow for me right now. But uh, it was refreshed, open up the lead page, and now you're going to see here. So here's a cool landing, uh, handyman property type picture you could use. So here's, this is potentially an investor. You know, that's them looking at a property. But this guy's eyes are pointing over toward the opt-in form, which is really cool. It's an eye director. It really helps. If you're looking at that, you see the guy, you want to see where he's looking. Automatically dra drives you over here. You know, the person types in their information. They choose that they're an investor or looking for a place to live in. The opt in, I'm going to test the Gmail, and then bam, it's going to take you to the next page, uh, which this is built in for investor care members as well. It's going to take you to the, to the second page, which is this is part of our two step opt in process. I'm going to show you the, the specific form fields in this uh, in our next video. One of them in particular is really helping to get some people private lenders with just one single, uh, single checkbox. So let's go ahead and go back in here and swap out with another image. Um, let's get rid of this one. Let's click update. We're going to go back and grab this image, uh, this new one. And like I said, you can upload your own images, grab images that are that are already in here. Uh, this one right here could be a kind of a, a cool one as well. Um, if if you would blur out the uh, if you'd blur out the the picture, because like it kind of gives people a little preview of what they're going to get without giving it to them. So we didn't blur out this picture before we uploaded it. We probably should have. If you can imagine blurring this out so people can't really see the, the details, it kind of really gives people like, shoot, I want to get on the other side of this and see those properties. I'm clicking it, but it won't let me. So they got to opt in to get it. Okay, This type of page is converting really well, guys, for cash buyers and like I said, for tenant buyers as well. But there are other types of pages that, that are converting well for different types of markets. Um, so if you're a lead page uh, and an investor care member, that's all you got to do. Go to your lead pages area. Select the page that you want to edit or create your own. Go ahead and view it. Grab the URL right here and start marketing. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we'll go ahead and dive back in and finish out this presentation for you. But like I said, grab the HTML template below and follow the instructions to get it online. Or if you're an Investor Care member, like I said, you can go ahead and do what I just showed you. So coming next, and one thing I just forgot to show you that I'm going to bounce back and show you. Coming next... We have a new free training on seven clever conversion boosting additions to your website. And I kind of alluded to some of these here. And, and these are things I'm just going to tell you. Do this on your site. Do this. Do this. Don't do this. Um, I'm going to tell you all seven of these. It's often the small things that count that, that turn an average or non-performing site into one that gets results. A certain four-way word phrase in your autoresponders that we found, once we added this four-word phrase at the bottom of the, of the emails, we're getting a 60% higher response rate 
to the emails that go out to cash buyers and motivated sellers. A clever checkbox in your online form that finds private lenders for you. Our two-step forms to increase leads and increase quality. That's something I alluded to it a bit ago and I showed you part of it. Why a professional picture on your site is lowering conversions. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to show you some real data and why. And a fail-proof way to get solid, real, authentic testimonials even for newbies. So check back in a couple days, guys. Check your email. I'm going to be sending you this email with this here in a bit. And start using, if you want to start using our lead pages engine today, you can try out Investor Carrot's inbound marketing software for investors and start using the SEO grader, our lead pages engine. Just go to oncarrot.com or up in the upper box of this page, there's a webinar registration where we're going to go through and teach you a bunch of things, even more than, than on this call. And we're going to, of course, demo the system. But one thing I forgot to show you is what do you do uh, with, with these pages? So do you, as far as your forms, um, so by default, the way that our system works, but you can do this on, on you can do it however you want on your, on any system. Is by default, um, the way our system works is the leads go directly to a very, very, very simple lead database. But if you're using your own, um, if you're using your own email marketing system, or you're using a system that will let you generate uh, opt-in boxes, uh, opt-in forms, all you have to do is go down here to your lead page. Just go ahead and go select opt-in form and you can select custom opt-in form code and that makes it so where you can put any opt-in form code in there that you want um, or just select one of the ones that's already in the box. And a really cool thing that I didn't show you here before is let's say we want to make this right here, this handyman properties page that we've been working on before. Let's say we want to make this a video squeeze page. Okay. All you got to do is go down to the options, include page elements. We just have to go to content and make it visible. Uh, we already have a, a YouTube video URL in there just for sake of time. I'm going to go ahead and click update. I'm going to open up this page. In a matter of seconds, we have now created this into a video lead page, which is really, really effective. If you create videos for your pages and they're good videos, guys, it's really effective. That's going to give you a boost in your conversion. So you can see in a matter of seconds, we just created a video lead page. Hit us up with questions below this video. Please hit me with comments. If you have squeeze pages or lead pages that you want me to look at and give you critiques on, Hit me with the URLs below. I'm going to be giving free free critiques uh, this whole this whole training series, and also give me some feedback. Are you loving the series or not? Do you like the information? Are you getting information you can actually go and apply? Um, if, if so, please let me know. It really helps keep me motivated to keep on doing these videos. And and like I said, be on the lookout for the next video here in the next couple days on conversion psychology. Seven simple things you can put into your websites or change to make them convert better. We'll talk soon, guys. Hit me with a comment below and hit like. Thank you.